Hello everybody, this is Tip Top Gaming here today with another treasure constructed Ixalan Plankation Guild, not Guild Battle, but uh, Chronicles event. Um, a lot of names for this, I said that in the last one. Last time we played Esper Control, this time we're playing Red Rush, because I think that that would be a good deck that we could just get out a lot of wins really quickly. So we're either going to lose quickly or win quickly, hopefully. And this, uh, this deck has uh, not been refined at all since like M20, or I think even War of the Spark. It only has a couple cards from that. So um, it's probably not going to do that well, but we'll see. So what we can do is we can just start with a Gia 2 Lava Runner. Um... Then we can, I guess, cast this. I guess this is instant. I can do this at instant speed. See if he plays something. I can blast it. Something dangerous, that is. See, I never know. With a deck like this, is it better to blast the creatures to let the creature or to let my creatures get through, or is it better just to hit him in the face? I think I know the answer. That's actually a really good card. I underestimated that, and ah, uh, it makes me feel better that I have a, a oh, a thingy mabopper, a style for it. Uh, I don't know styles. Well, they aren't great. They make me feel good when I have them. Um, I don't know. Well, Squee is normally not in a deck like this. But I was facing off against a bunch of decks, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put Squee in here, and you're never gonna be able to deal with it. And uh, luckily, I, I don't even have to. Um, I don't even have to cast him within the next two turns. He can be cast from exile. Okay, uh, mm so he's using that for color fixing, which is normal. Um, I'm gonna cast Viashino Pyromancer. Dealing two damage straight to his face. Then I'm going to cast that, targeting that, burning a treasure. Um, so that way we can swing with for three. Yeah. Maybe that wasn't my best move, but I'm trying to limit his mana here because he's clearly trying to do stuff with it, and I don't want him to do stuff with it. So I'm trying to limit his mana. If he plays a creature, I can play Claymore Shaman with haste, make it so oh okay. Make it so that creature can't block. Okay. And then we'll go from there. Uh let's see what I draw. I'm hoping I draw like a Chandra or something that's like draw like the light of the stage. Let's see. I'm hoping it's not a land. And it's Fanatical Firebrand, which I mean is fine. It's just not my favorite. Um, we're gonna play a Claymore Shaman. With haste. And then we're going to swing out. That can't block. So we're gonna do a one, two, uh, four, six, six bunch of damage four six bunch of damage yeah so i can do that again if he doesn't play another creature i can just do that again if he does play another creature i'll probably still do that again it's pretty great um and this game's been going on for four minutes um i mean red rush isn't one of my favorite decks but it's it's okay i mean it needs my deck needs to be updated but it's I think playing it is fun. It just it just gets to a point where after a certain amount of time, you're just like, well, I don't see how I'm going to win this. I could win this, and I should play it out, but I don't see how I'm going to win this. Oh, God. That, that thing is not going to be able to attack. Or block, sorry. And he'll be able to block. This is not turning out well. Do they have that? No. Okay. Come on, just put loyalty. Don't create one ones. Don't. 
See, I feel like I just hit a wall here. Like, there's nothing I can do. Uh, Goblin Chain Whirler would be, I guess, okay, but it wouldn't actually do anything. Now, thank you about it. That has two. Um, thingies. Come on, come on, come on. This guy is super slow. Like, if you're going to play the game, play the game. Um, or don't. Let me win. Okay, so we're going to play Squee. The Immortal. Uh, do I go for the Chandra? I think I go for him because he's so low. Let's see. Um, so he can block two of it. He can block one of it. So that's two, four. Let's assume he blocks the two, two. That's one damage that gets through. One, three, four, five. So I could send all of that at him. Um... I think we're going to send those two. If he wants to trade, he can take both of them. He could trade a healer, a healer of the glade for something, but uh, I don't think he's going to do that. Yay. You're like, yeah, I don't think he's going to trade both. Um, so now I can block one of his tokens with Squeeze the Immortal because I can just keep recasting him. And I should be slowly chipping away unless he plays something like that. Although, I didn't remember that being a card. That's kind of lame. I'm gonna be honest. This deck isn't as well built as a lot of the other decks. Uh, I, I guess they're trying to avoid being a jerk. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I'm gonna just block with Squee. I mean, we both can just make these infinitely, but uh, he, I can't make the... Well, I mean, wh what's gonna happen here? Ready? I'm gonna... I'm gonna block with Squee and Grim Initiate, because Grim Initiate has first strike. And hope that he doesn't have a boost spell I'm not thinking about. So that will die. And Squee will die, quote unquote. But he'll be back, as always. Yeah, again, Squee normally isn't in this deck. Uh, this, at least I'm getting diversity. That's the one thing I think I like about this deck, at least with my experiences, um, is that the last thing, or the last uh, event, I didn't really face diversity. It was all Boros. Um, and I did face other things, but I was mostly Boros, and that was kind of irritating. Uh, does this a win? I think this is a W. I didn't do the math. Let's see, he could block two damage of it. And that would be two, three, four, five. That's infuriating. Uh, okay, we're gonna do a very similar thing. You can have him or him you know you can block one with your storm lightning stormkin um, or your creeping trailblazer that would make me happy um or you could not block and that would also make me happy but he's going to be worried about shock so i'm really hoping okay i was really hoping that he would like just not block or something or, or block all of them and get rid of this evil thing that I can't get rid of currently. Um, so I'm going to recast Squee so I can block his elementals again. And, uh, yeah. This will be a win unless he can play multiple creatures or board wipe or whatever. No, stop it. Stop it. You are being a jerk. You're just de your deck just isn't built as well as I feel like a lot of other decks. Or, I guess it's just built differently. I built a deck specifically around Risen Reef, not just Elementals. and like cloning Risen Reef over and over again, but... I guess you could build it just, you know, an Elemental Hunter's Battlefield. I get this effect, not... I get all of the effects. Never. Okay, so he's being particular... Oh, great. How lovely. This is not a win, yet. Uh, I just need to get three damage through. So, he could block, yes, 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 this is still a win. This is still a win. 
I think, because if I he can't if I make it so he can't block with Risen Reef or Creeping Trail Blazer, I don't or yeah if he if he can't block with Creeping Trail Blazer, and he blocks both sources of two damage, um, uh, then then what still gets through is two damage. No, stop this! I need something with haste. If I get something with haste, I ignore that. Okay, never mind. I don't win. Okay, so he's out of mana. I don't care. Stop revealing cards. This is really infuriating to play against. I didn't. I've. It's been a while since I played against Risen Reef. Um, come on, I need like Vichino Pyromancer, Wizard Lightning, any of those. Let's see. So he's gonna create two ones. Oh God, I forgot about that. Can you auto pass like actually not make me click resolve on everything? Resolve all. I don't get really. I mean, I get what auto pass does, but it's stupid. Okay, let's see what he attacks with. Cause if he attacks with like creeping trailblazer, I might be inclined to block. But I have a high feeling I'm not gonna block a lot. If he atta if he attacks with stuff, I think he loses. So I don't think he's gonna. He's gonna attack with the two ones. And I'm gonna block with my Grim Initiate. Um, and then I'm gonna take two. My Grim Initiate's awesome at taking out these stupid elementals. I'm gonna be worried if I can't win this. Oh. So, four, I have five. But I can make it so one of them can't block. Um, okay. I should have attacked with everything. Should have made it so, I don't know, the lightning storm can, couldn't block. And then he would have been forced to survive to kill his power, his combo pieces. Should have done that. Uh, my pieces aren't as, power, as good on their own. Um, I really don't want to sit through this, but I also need the creature and the one damage. Because if I pull a wizard lightning, I... Mm, all right, that just got so much further away. That win, it just got like, oh, that's painful. Okay, I'm not going to sit through this. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, my Red Rush deck did not seem to hold up uh, against stupid elementals, because elementals are stupid, but it's fine. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button. It means a lot. See you guys in the next one.